Hello. I'm going to do a vlog. Isn't that exciting? Never done one before. You can see my toaster and my kettle and isn't this very exciting? Um, so it's Monday morning and I'm just in the process of making some coffee to which I will add some syrup and some Alpro coconut almond. It's I have no idea what time it is. I think it's about nine, half nine, something like that. I've already done my re-lists and things for today and edited all the titles and the prices and the postage and things. I did 45 of them, so I'm a very good girl today. I've got only nine orders going out for this weekend um, and waiting payment on two. So I hope they pay pretty quick because one of them is a really big faux fur coat. And I wouldn't mind that just being gone, actually, because it means I've got more space for stuff. Um, I've been sorting out things, so there used to be a huge pile of shame, and now it's just that. It's just a little pile of not quite so shame, which is quite nice, and that's my G-Plan unit. And my sofa that I want to get rid of and get a green Chesterfield, and I've managed to sort out my shelves as well. And so they look a lot nicer now, I think. Anyway, so I shall show you a bit more in a bit once I've had my coffee. <laughs> well, welcome to my garden. So that's my house up there. And that's my little patio bit there. And then this is, that's like the little secret garden bit. And then this is like the allotment bit. So we've got like raspberries growing and peas and lots of fruit trees and stuff. So that's quite nice for making jam and things. And then this is Le Garage, the first look. So as you can see, it is very garagey, garagey. Actually, not Nigel Faragey, garagey, garage. So these are my mum's garden tools, because obviously it's my mum that does the gardening. I can't grow a thing. I can't even grow my hair, let alone plants. Um, so that's like tools and the old chest and stuff and things. Uh, this is all stuff that I just want rid of, like, uh, I can't even be bothered trying to sell it on eBay because it's not really worth... I mean, I suppose I could sell the rock band things, but it's been there for a good five years, rusting away, and it's probably doomed. I haven't even looked. Um, bits and bobs in there, more gardening stuffs. Um, <clears throat> this is... Look at that lovely old workbench. It's ace, isn't it? That was there when we moved in. That's a return. I've got a... Ugh everything. Casio keyboard that I bought, some jewellery findings that I just found, pinked. Um, that, oh, my sister got me that, it's a, a handy little caddy in the shape of a cat. This is sort of my photographic area, which is basically just made out of two bits of wood. And um, that's where I keep all my postage stuff. Um, on there is um, things that listed like glass and pictures, and some pairs of boots. You see those wicker things there? They're not for sale there. I'm just keeping them for storage. Um, but yeah, lots of glass and bits and bobs and stuff. That's my, you know, pasting tables. Random bits of stuff from the house. Um, and then these so far are the things I've managed to transfer from the shop. So as you can see, they've all got numbers on them. And inside, I'll show you in box number two inside I've got what they are written on the front and then on the listing I've put at the end of it each listing in brackets what box number they're in so hopefully they should be quite easy to find so I've still got a lot of work to do because I've got to fit in at least another five of these containers somehow and then I'm thinking I might buy another five so I'll have 15 and eventually once all of this stuff is gone it'll probably be lined up that away. I'm going to put those boards down on the floor so that just in case there's ever any water or anything that comes in here they'll at least be off the ground because as you can see there are some holes and it can get wet in here sometimes because of that. That's where the punch bag used to be um, and there was um, uh, on the floor here yesterday oh look you can see my shoes with wings on uh, there was a bit of a a little damp patch yesterday from when the water's been coming in through. Um, 
but at some point I've got this like foam sealer thing and I'm just gonna like block up all of them um, so hopefully it'll be a little bit more weatherproof for the winter that's a coming there's just lots of cardboard and things very exciting isn't it so I'll show you a couple of orders that are going out today just I haven't had the best weekend for some reason I don't know why I've only got um, well 11 things in total two I'm a waiting payment for so these are just some tins I'm hoping that they're gonna go um, a large letter but two little like pill boxes that are quite cute and this is a vintage coral necklace and you can tell it's coral I don't know if you can um, right do you see that little like teardrop pine cone thing there uh, that means that it's coral so not all coral jewelry is signed some of it just have those little dangle bit on there so that's going out for 13 pounds which is quite nice I think I bought that from a car boot sale um, but yeah that's very pretty isn't it that's cool so they're going out today and then this is my uh, things to do today I bought this the other day this is from Poundland so it cost a pound new things to do in green so these are my 10 things to do so do post move 20 items from the shop make box number six to go over there list 10 things but I haven't got 10 things to list so I'm gonna have to find or buy 10 things buy batteries for black lights because I've got a bit of art deco uh, green glass and I just want to um, take a photo of it um, with its glow so that's my number six and finish the jug listing buy or find five things to sell um, do a sales video which I might do later and then dye my hair grey again so um, that's what I'm going to do today hopefully uh, so see you later on a bit of a serious note here is my um, breakfast for today so we have got um, iron and vitamin C we have got um, complete B um, vitamins vitamin B complex and vitamin D3 which is good for people who um, suffer from seasonal affective disorder as I do and then a lovely I think it's 40 milligrams of fluoxetine which is better known as Prozac uh, which I've been on for a long time and um, it gives me terrible restless leg syndrome at night which means that I basically spend about two hours kicking my legs before I get to sleep so that's why I'm a bit of a night owl rather than an early morning lark type person um, just in case anyone did actually think I was lazy getting up at nine o'clock it's normally just because I'm bloody knackered <laughs> anyways on to enjoy my breakfast right mailman has been and I've got a little bit of post isn't that exciting um, this should be something that I ordered off eBay, hopefully, a job lot, a little job lot of jewellery, it's not a lot. Um, probably, I think I spent about £7 on this and there was probably something in there that I thought, oh I can get more than £7 for just that on its own. So, oh yes, I figured it's worth a try. So we've got a little brooch, like um a Roman kind of tourbine sort of thing with flowers in it, that's quite pretty. Nothing wrong with that one either, no stones missing. It's not signed though. That one just uh, probably 70s or 80s. That'll probably go in a lot. Oh, this is the thing that I thought was worth selling on its own. Ah, yes. Lovely bracelet. Look at that. That is super pretty. Um, nothing wrong with it either from what I can see, not missing any stones, should we see if it's signed, no signature, but that, that I think is really pretty and that could go for about a tenner with free postage on its own I think, that's really nice. And what else we got? Oh we've got like a little, uh, slightly damaged kind of peacock pin, but that's quite pretty. Well, it's not a peacock, is it? It's just some kind of tropical bird. That's quite sweet. I'll probably put that in a lot with some other... I've got another few bird-type brooches. I can put them in a lot together. This one... Let's see. I don't think it's missing any stones, but it does need a nice little clean-up. Um, pin's okay on it. That's quite pretty. That'd be nice at Christmas time. And then last thing, ooh, that's nice, 
that's this is very early jewelry this is probably almost turn of the century perhaps um, so that's a lovely little beaded necklace oh yeah you can tell it's old by the clasp again and by the safety clasp it needs a little bit of attention obviously that's broken there so I can just reattach that more securely because if I put that on now that's just going to come straight back off again but that is a lovely little necklace and they're all faceted beads as well it's quite pretty quite art deco quite like that so yeah from a seven pound lot um say 10 and 20 you know 30 40 ish pound hopefully so always good to snipe off ebay that's what i find anyway yeah, see you in a bit okay so this is norton street where my shop unit is this is probably the best street in pretend and that's really not saying very much um, at least we have a tattoo parlour, excellent tattoo parlour, that's Nipper and Chris, they're great in there. Um, and then we've also got Rosie's Tea Room, loads and loads of barbers, lots of takeaways, an antique shop, a wedding dress shop, um, our shop obviously, um, and a dentist. Oh, and an art gallery, which is kind of cool, but yeah, good old Bridgend. Hello, so here are some orders going out today. I've already packaged some of them. Um, here's already in a mess from when I left the house. Oh, well. What can you do? Um, some hotter shoes going out. Just some gold sandal type things. Um, a woolen cashmere coat, which I undersold, but never mind. Um, I only sold it for a tenner, but I bought it for a pound, so it's not the end of the world. Um, so what I do is I cut my own labels off them, take the tag out. I will give this a little, once more of a little dust down because it's wool, it kind of attracts, you know, lots of dust and stuff. And then I put it in one of these and then post it in one of these. I love the ones with the flowers on. I think uh, it's such fun and I get lots of comments from happy customers going, great packaging. Just kind of cool. God, everything is just falling apart now. Stay. Just stay. Um, and then another thing that's gone is... Oh. Gravity, inanimate objects and coat hangers are the worst things ever invented. So this sparkly little number, this one I've had for over a year in the shop I think and it's never sold and um, it's been at various prices on eBay, even went down to 6 99 at one point and bought it and uh, so I put it back up to 14 99 and someone sent me an offer of £12 so yeah <laughs> it's gonna go, why not? And then the last thing is these very 90s Wallace kind of baggy pants and um, this I got in a job lot of stuff which I bought for £20 these have gone for 8 quid um, but I've I made my money back from um, and profit from the first sale from that so everything I sell from that job lot now of which I've got maybe about 10 decent things left it's all profit now so that's good anyways I'm going to package these up and then move on to the next bit, which is packaging some of the stuff behind me. It's such fun. So that's the rest of my parcels done. Don't they look cool? I like it when I'm sending stuff to guys as well and they get this. I hope they're in touch with their feminine side. So now we're packing up stuff. So I've taken um, stuff off my festival rail. So that's the thing that I'm working on next. Um, and then I'm doing them at about... Um, 20 a time I tend to be able to fit into my trolley uh, people have asked you know like offered help and said oh you can fill my car up and we'll get it all moved and stuff which is obviously lovely of them to offer um, but then it means I've got to sort it all at home and I don't particularly want to do that when I'm paying rent here or have paid up rent here up until the end of September so I might as well sort it all out here and do it in my own time 
So um, what I tend to do is fold things up neat. And get a little plastic baggie. Yeah, so what um so when I get it home later on, I'll just double check and make sure that the listing is on eBay because as I have found so far a few things have mysteriously disappeared off eBay and I don't know why. But there we go. Strange. Right, so this is a nineteen fifties floral swim suit, small size. Obviously, because it was 1950s. Come on, stickers. These are just, you know, like the printer label stickers. Can't be bothered to type them all out and print them all off neat and stuff. I'll just handwrite them. Um, so, yeah, I double check just to make sure that it is still listed on eBay. If it's not, then it goes to one side, and that's something that I'll deal with later on. I'll do all of them, like in one day, do, re uh, do new photographs and stuff. And then um, the rest of them, they all have the number of the box that they go into put at the end of the listing. So in brackets, you know, brackets number five. So then I know where it is. So what a magical system. Anyways, I've got another at least 19 of them to do. So I'm going to get cracking. See you in a bit. So there you go. 20 items packed in there. And I've even got room, hopefully, <laughs> for some of my posts at least. Yep. Timbridge End now. I'm going to go to that charity shop there. And then I'm going to head down this way and go to the three charity shops there, around the corner to the post office, and then back up to Air Ambulance and Oxfam, and then home. Hooray! Let's hope I find something. This is a delightful end of the end. The bus station, the job centre, Poundland, and... Um, it's actually reasonably quiet today. There's normally at least one person taking drugs or someone stabbing someone else, someone shouting their mouths off. But no, not today. That's quite nice. It looked like I was filming that lady then, but I wasn't. <sighs> Hello. So I'm back home now, and um, it's about, I don't know, half one, two o'clock. I've had some lunch and a drink and stuff, and I watched Carla's video. The Gromit Hunting Part 3 um, and uh, Celtic Traders fills Monday Motivation with the magic trick. Very exciting. So I've done the post today. Forgot to buy batteries, obviously. So I'm going to go over the road and buy some batteries in a minute. And then I managed to find some things to sell. Hooray! Quite exciting. So, um, from Bernardo's, I got... Just a little denim jacket for one ninety nine, a little distressed one. It says authentic denim made with pride. I don't know what brand it is. It's probably just going to be someone like New Look or something. Um, but denim jackets are always pretty standard. Good stuff. I think it's just a size small, size 8 or something. Um, another denim item. So I got very 90 style button down sort of mini-ish skirt that's Miss Selfridge it's a 16 again that was 199 I look to get um, about 12.15 on both of those items and they should hopefully go pretty quick as well I also got from Bernardo's for 99p travel magnetic monopoly and I've checked the parts and they're all there they go anything from 99 pence on bids up to um, I think one sold 10.99 plus shipping um, the difference being the ones that went for bids obviously went auction and nobody really wants them. Um, but they, the ones that went for more money opened them all out and showed all the bits. So that's what I'll do and I'll take the photos of this. Monopoly. Um, I also bought some shoe trees but they're just handy to keep. I'm not going to sell them. Well they are made in England, paint and applied for so that means they are vintage. Say seven to eight and a half. Dasco. I might just look them up and see if they are actually worth anything because you never know. For one ninety nine as well, and it was terribly embarrassing walking through town with this because it's freaking huge. I bought a giant kanga and rue. Oh, hello. So I'm not particularly into Disney stuff, 
But I mean, Winnie the Pooh's acceptable, isn't it? You know? Um, she's got like something thick in her neck. Like you can't strangle her because she's got like a tube in her neck. That's a bit weird. Ugh. Um, and then a little, that's the umbilical cord right there. That's just lovely, isn't it? Um, but yeah, one ninety nine. Uh, she does need to be stuck through the wash a bit. Yeah. Um, so we're going to stick her through the wash and i uh, going to see what we can get for her. Hopefully about £25-£30. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Yes. <laughs> okay, other things I bought. Only three more things and they are clothing. So, oh no, no. One thing, this isn't clothing and then there's two dresses. Um, but you're not going to be particularly excited in this. I think this is a tablecloth. It's very autumny, isn't it? Very autumn. It's like pumpkins and squashes and that's um, one of them. And big leaves and stuff and berries. So yeah, I think it's an, an autumny kind of massive, massive tablecloth. But it's in really, really good quality, really good. And I think, well, it was one ninety five. I don't know. Someone's got to want something like that, haven't they? I like old linen and shit anyway. And then my last two items were buy one, get one free in the clothing shop. So that dress over there, which I haven't shown you yet, was a tenner. And this one was four ninety five, so this one was my free one. This is a size sixteen, easy life fabric by Klopman, one hundred percent polyester dacron. Mm. So we got like a little sixties Mad Men esque dress with a lovely little button detail there. I think that's quite nice. It's very Mad Men actually, lined. Yeah, really excellent condition, so... It's nice. nice. Just show my mummy. It's nice. nice. 60s polyester. Yes. I'm just doing a video. And then, um, for £10, from Next Tall, originally £80. Gorgeous. Ugh. Size 20, very big but lovely. Like a crane print dress, you see the cranes on there. Like a jacquard, jacquard. Is that what, how you say? Jacquard. Jacquard. But it's lovely, I love the cranes on it. It's a super pretty print and really nice heavy fabric as well. Um. So, what do you think? Twelfty pounds, twelfty million pounds. Yeah. Uh, sixty pounds. I'm gonna put on it and then take off as over forty. Cause that's how that works, isn't it? Um, right. So I'm gonna get on and pretend to do work. No, I've got to catalog all of the things that I brought home. Twenty items brought home. Double check they're on eBay and then put them in their box. And then I'm gonna go buy batteries. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, bye bye. bye, -bye. Oh, hello from the garage. Right, so it's about half past four now. And uh, since I last saw you, I um, checked those 20 items of clothing. It's very dark, isn't it? I checked the 20 items of clothing, um, made sure that I had them listed on eBay. There was two that weren't, one of which I knew about anyway. Um, so I put them on the pile to deal with later. Um, what else have I done? Watch Terminator 2, very important. I listed the four items of clothing um, that I did this that I bought earlier on, so like the skirt and the dress and all of that. I measured them, photographed them, drafted them, and then listed them. So they've gone live now. Press a, another necklace as well, which I wouldn't have shown you. Um, then I went over and bought some batteries for my black light because I've got a test to make sure that this Art Deco glass, this lovely jug, um, is actually uranium. So this is my black light. Ooh, that's cool. Oh, 
it's like a disco right so hopefully if i hold it up to this it's gonna glow well hey it's a glower not a shower that's cool isn't it so i've got to somehow take a photograph of that now um and then stick that on ebay because they like to have the glow photo and then i've just got a few more things sorry it keeps going dark sorry hello go light go light oh there we go <laughs> yeah um so i've got a few more things to list today so i've got the travel monopoly that i bought earlier um i found while i was tidying up the shelves a sing star uh, microphone receiver it's the kind of thing that people will lose so someone out there will want it i'll stick it on for i don't know fiver i haven't checked that yet so we'll see i somehow managed to acquire this book i don't know how so i'm going to stick that on someone out there might want it and then i've got two singles i was going to keep um monastery preachers theme from mash because sue is sad is painless um but you know it'll just be another thing that i don't need <sighs> in it and i can go towards my new york holiday and then another one it's a shame it's got a torn cover but that's florence foster jenkins one of these sold recently for uh, 12 or 13 pounds Probably in better condition than this, but this one will be the only one on eBay because I've checked and they've got the, the film versions and other versions, but they haven't got this one. So seeing as it's going to be the only one, I'm just going to make up a price for it. $129.99. Not really. Maybe. Who knows? Um, but yeah, so that's my plan. Um, so I'm going to do some photographing in this little area here. I also have a handy to the light. That's just from my filmmaking days. I thought I might as well use it. Um, and then that'll be me for the day. Oh, I've already... I've done my packaging for tomorrow as well. So I've taken the stuff from there that I need to do. And I've packaged that up and I've printed off labels. I've had a rather productive day. It's most unlike me. It's probably because I'm showing off because you're here. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think that'll be it. And then... So I'll be finished by about five o'clock. And... And I'm gonna have steak for tea. Yeah. Okay, so those are your jazz hands. I hope you liked my little vlog. Um, it's my first one I've ever done. Isn't that cool? Like a proper day in the life of vlog. You know. Yeah, anyway. Bye bye now, bye bye.